It, it's, it's heartwarming. It's great. It's been a long time since I've been back, but I had some great, great years here with some great ball players, good teams. But it's nice to be back. It's even greater than I, than I, than I dreamed about. It's, uh, it's wonderful to be able to come back and to be healthy, to enjoy it, to see all the people um, that I grew up with here at Syracuse, the teammates, the coaches, the staff, the medical staff, uh, the, the Syracuse family. It's wonderful to be back. The university has grown, too. You know, to see this big building and gosh, I wonder what it would have been like for us to play here. I was kind of hoping that it would be three feet of snow and zero degrees because my wife hates the snow and the cold weather. But, uh, you know, she's enjoying it and it's been great. We got in late Friday night. Jimmy picked us up at the airport, but it's been great so far. And I'm looking forward to the tour of Manly. Excuse me. I'm looking forward to the tour of Manly because it, uh, you know, I'm sure it's a little bit different than 40 years ago. As I, I think Coach just said, we were all good friends. We had 15 guys that were very close, and we acted as a team in everything we did. 74, 75 Syracuse basketball team was a special team. Came out of nowhere, huge upsets, beat the number one team in the country, North Carolina, to get to the first Final Four in a long time. It was a great group, and it was an unbelievable pleasure to be an assistant coach and part of that team. I think it's the greatest feat that Syracuse basketball has ever accomplished because it, it was the first time that it happened and it's always difficult to get over the hump the first time. And that's just like a lot of people, you know, I love trivia. They, everybody says, who's the best president we ever had? George Washington. He didn't have any guidelines to go by. He's the first one. He had it difficult to do it. And uh, it was difficult here, but it had a great bunch of kids. Hard, hard workers, uh, played together, had a lot of harmony, a lot of unity on the team. Uh, they're still friends, obviously. For us, we hear the things like that team shouldn't have been there, should, shouldn't have done this, <laughs> shouldn't have done that. We always like to, we overachieved, and I would rather be an overachiever in life than an underachiever, and that goes for everybody. I think I speak for everybody on my team. Well, you know, we didn't realize it as, it, as we were doing it. Uh, we were just playing game by game, uh, and it, each game was so challenging, you didn't really have time enough to think about what you accomplished when you finished. We just had to go on to the next game and it's on to the next game and you know how the, the road to the final four is it demands a lot of work and you know a, a lot of patience and a lot of luck but you also have to have good coaching you have the people to stand by you great support staff and most of all you have the great great teammates and that's what made it possible every day i watch every game uh, i'll watch it in the den my wife will be in a bedroom and i'll be cussing and hollering and she said just sit down and relax I wish they would have done it a few years earlier, just so Bobby and uh, Larry could have been here with us, but I know they're looking on from above. But no, it's, it's great to have everybody back, and it took a while uh, to get everybody. I didn't have everybody's phone number, but we were able to get them here, and 